guys, welcome to May's unboxing. Today I'm kind of excited because I got Okashi Connection. This is August's box. So make sure you guys go check out July's box. This came in really good time. I mean, perfect 21st of August. You'll probably see this video a little bit later. Anyway, this is a Japanese candy subscription box and it's only $22 with free shipping worldwide. So that is really awesome in that aspect. It's a little bit different camera angle. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can see the whole box. And uh, yeah, so as always, um, I will try the foods afterwards and I'll go through what's actually in the box first. So, as this box is really awesome because it's always stuff packed. It's like you're getting your $22 worth. If you're worried about like not getting a lot, you don't have to worry. They have this beautiful pamphlet. It's really nice because it tells you everything in the box, which I will definitely refer to. Um, so, first off, we have this is Chiawa's Butter Chips. And, uh, here's what they look like. It's a massive bag. It's the size of my hand. And these have, the four main ingredients are butter, honey, parsley, and mascarpone cheese. So, this is very interesting. So, so, there's the first item. Next item we have is these odd looking things. This is Karuto Florentine Cookies. So, they have different flavor of cookies. Um, this one, they say the taste is pretty basic. Um, it has nuts in it, almonds, and yeah, that's what they say about it. So that looks interesting though, I'm not half bad. Up next, ooh, these look good. We have choco chips. Now I don't really need anything to explain these. These are probably mini little chocolate chip cookies. Those look really good. Next up, we have... These are gar Garibori sh Shoyu Ramen. So obviously these are like the ramen noodles that we get in Canada. And it's basically probably comes with a different flavor. I think this one is soy sauce and you can eat them raw or you can cook them. So those I won't be able to try on camera, uh, but very cool. Next up we have, ooh, I love these. These are the koala um, cookies and this is cotton candy, which I have not seen before. I've seen like strawberry and like banana and like chocolate, but I have not seen cotton candy before. So basically it's a cookie with a filling inside and this would taste like cotton candy. Next up we have, this is Makine Gummy Grape. So basically it is a type of gummy and it is the grape flavor and it's kind of shaped, I don't really exactly know what it's shaped of, but um, comes in shape, oh, okay this is really cool, so it comes either in a rock, paper, or scissors shape. And uh, you can play, having you can have fun playing with these as well as eating them. That's cool. So I think I got rock. Picture. Up next, we have cherry hard candy. So basically, they are cherry candy with um. Yeah, it's too good. they look good. I love cherry flavored things, so I really like that. Next, I know there's still more, right? Next. I don't even know where this is on the list. This is the Sakuri Gummy Dragon Fruit and Flat Lemon. Ooh, that sounds interesting with dragon fruit. So they're not supposed to be super sweet, and they're limited edition with flavor, which is really cool. Um, so it's a mixture between dragon fruit and flat lemon, but it has more of a tangy sour mixture. So. Very cool. Next up, we have the Toruto Strawberry. And I love strawberry, so I think I really like this. And basically, it is a chocolate, kind of like almost like cookie like, with a inside of a rich strawberry filling. Those look really good. And they seem like they come like in little pouches. I'm assuming there's like nine of them. And now, I wish I could say finally, but there is a couple more items still in here. We have Pretz Hawaii Pineapple. So we have Pretz in Canada, but we have like the common like pizza flavors and stuff. And this one um, is actually a sweet option, and 
This would be really cool because it's supposed to taste like pineapple. Pineapple cookies is what they say. Cool. And finally we have these little tiny candies and this is a chibi chewy candy grape and cider. So I'm assuming they're just like little chewy candies. So that is everything in the box guys. We'll come back and we'll eat this and hopefully the video won't be too long and I apologize if it is. So let's get the box nice and organized guys. So we're gonna try the Torito cookies. So I discovered that I need a meal for these, some of these items. So these are the strawberry filled. Oh, like I said, I thought there was gonna be nine in here. So they're very cute actually. Look at them in the little individual squares. So let's try these out. Hmm. Ooh, those are good. So, strawberry filling is like a typical kind of strawberry filling you'd get in like the koalas and the um, the Collins and stuff. And then they have a nice kind of crispy almost chocolate outside. Tastes really good. They pair really well together. Um, let's try the chocolate chips because I might as well keep in the feeling of chocolate. So, you get a good amount in there. I know it's hard for you guys to really see, but... So again, it's just a chocolate chip cookie. They're good, but you're not getting a lot of chocolate. I don't think they put enough chocolate chips or they made them too small. So you're mainly getting the cookie. But it's a pretty good cookie though, I gotta say. For... Alright, let's try... I'm interested in trying these Hawaiian pretz. So let's try these Hawaiian pretz. So pineapple flavor. I like pineapple, so I think it's gonna be interesting, but I've never had pretz before. So I don't know, I don't know how okay. typical pretz. Ooh. You can smell the pineapple. And they do have a pineapple taste, but it's not the tartness of like a typical pineapple. It's actually these are quite good and they're more of a cookie. Um texture. They're kind of odd, but they're really good. So I like those. Those are a keeper and the cool thing is it ziplocks. So the freshness stays in. Next up, let's try these cookies. I've been interested to try these cookies. Oh look, they're individually wrapped. That's awesome. I love a lot of these Japanese snacks because they always are individually wrapped like this. It keeps the freshness. So, so I'm assuming you could put like fruit in here or something. So let's try it out. That's good. You're not getting a huge, strong walnut kind of. I think they said it was a walnut taste in it. And the cookie is more like a mixture between a cookie and a cracker. So. It's pretty good. It's not a strong flavor, but it's really a nice flavor for a nice snack, quick snack. And it's so now we're going to try the dragon fruit and lemon candy. Packaging. Why do you do this to me? This looks interesting. This sounds interesting. I'm not a fan of dragon fruit though. Again, these are individually wrapped. Check those out. Those are awesome. I quite enjoy that. Um, it keeps the freshness. And... Ooh, look at this. This is... Wow. So it has a tropical flavor. You're not getting like a huge punch of dragon fruit. The lemon kind of balances it out. But the texture is kind of odd. It's almost like gum, like chewing gum. But it has definitely a little bit more of the gummy flavor. I mean, gummy texture, sorry. So it's kind of a cross between a gummy and chewing gum. But it's still really good. I mean, I think this box is beating out last month's box, but last month's box was still really good. So we're going to try these koala cotton candy things. This video is going to be extraordinarily long. So, apologize. I don't know what any of this packaging means. Ooh, good. Alright. Let's 
right up there. Here you go again, they're cute little koala shapes. These are good. You're not getting a whole lot of cotton candy flavor though. I find that the cotton candy flavor is very subtle and it's not really, you know, the main show. You'd think for the flavor it would be like the main show, but it really isn't. So let's try out these weird honey chips. This video is going to be so long and I apologize. Wow, they're actually, look at these, they look really cool. They're just like a potato chip. Wow, those are really good. They're kind of like a Lay's potato chip mixed with a hint of sour cream and then a honey. I know that sounds horrible, but those are really good. Like the combination, they just blend so well together and you're getting a fair amount of chips in there. I know, again, you can't see, I don't know even why I'm showing you. But again, very good snack. So, some of these, but that guys, for, so for these items that I have not tried, just for the sake of the length of the video, I won't try them on camera, uh, but I will hopefully, if I remember, put a description down below if you are interested if, um, to seeing if I like them or not, I will. A lot of these are like gummy, chewy things, and, like, so overall, amazing box. I love it, love it, love it. Highly suggested if you want to try new snacks, candy that are really good, they pick awesome snacks, so make sure you guys go check it out. I'll have the, hopefully the link down below again. See you guys next time.